So I'm Dr. Elise Morero. I'm working at uh, Oxford University at the Kelly Research Center on the reconstruction of the manufacturing techniques of uh, early Islamic rock crystal. And so uh, for doing that, we're doing long older type of research, experimental archaeology. So for this, uh, a wood turner uh, reconstructed for us two types of bowl lathe. Okay. So uh, this first model, which is, uh, you know, movable, we can, you know, remove this part of the bowl lathe. Okay, that's a bit normal. Well, Okay. Here. Yeah. So is made after the uh, examples still in use nowadays in India. Mm, okay. And uh, so you can, you know, uh, attach different type of, uh, you know, drill bit and so on to uh, to this type of bullet. But more recently, and I think this one is more useful for early Islamic period. Mm. This is a replica of a bullet which is uh, on the picture in the album of the Emperor Shahangir, so which uh, dates of the beginning of the uh, 17th century. Okay. So this is a, a, almost the exact replica. So this is the same thing, you know, this part is removable and you can attach the different type of uh, drill bit and different tools that you're going to use to carve okay. the rock crystal. So let's start with the beginning of the process. So first, you have to sew the, the big block of rock crystal that you have to shape it in the rough, you know, form right. that you need, okay? And actually, a rock crystal is uh, a hard stone, of course, but it's also extremely brittle. Mm. So you cannot work it, shape it, or drill it, or hollow it out, and so on using the percussive tool, the hammer and point okay. that a sculpture would do, for instance, right. or marble. Because it would shatter. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. So for that, you are going to work, and since the Neolithic, they use the same technique, it's abrasion. Okay. This is based on the same principle, abrasion. 